Yo, I'm down in the kitchen grabbing some coffee. Hey, Herbie. Woo! You're excited. Oh my God. You know why? Why? Because we found us a wine list today. Oh, did we decide which building, how much it was going to cost? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. Okay. Make sure you keep it where we can make a profit on it, Okay, what's the limit? $1,200. $1,200? $1,200. Baby, the building is a two-story building on Davis Highway. The only way we're going to make profit, darling, is it's $1,200 or less. Okay, well, I'm headed to go to the workout with the wellness guru, okay. Naila. Well, I'm headed to my business meeting, and I'll talk to you pretty soon. Can I have some of your coffee? Absolutely. All right, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye baby. Soon. Love you. Well, the whole thing is that we're trying to bring empowerment to women. First of all, you know we spend so much time in the salon. I mean, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in the salon. So if we're investing all this time, then we should be getting a return. And to me, the return should be empowerment. When you think about somebody that's doing our hair, you want that to be a positive exchange. And we're asking for advice. So the whole point is to bring people who are trained and who care about the people and who have a biblically based understanding in what it means to be whole, period. Life is a journey, and it's a path that um, that we should embrace as a gift every day, regardless as to what it is that we're going through. And so, part of this for me is being a part of of something moving, moving, and that is active. You know, um, I think so many times in life we get stagnant because of circumstances or situations. So. Um, it's just good when you see people that uh, understand that there's just a great world out there. There's a great, there's great destinies that have to be fulfilled. First, we're gonna get ourselves in a position, yes. and we're gonna begin to just stretch out the muscles. All right? all right. So I want you to just take a deep breath in from the abs. All right. Lift it up in from the nose. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. Stretch, 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 and then bring it down and exhale as you come down and left. What we're going to be doing every week is having fun, looking fly, being our best, and being empowered from the inside out. I mean, the thing about it is when people think about Christian, for some reason, it's like, oh, Holy Bible. But that's not true. Christians are as vivacious and outrageous and outgoing and as colorful. As a matter of fact, I would say that Christians are more so outrageous and outgoing than the world because we know that we have victory in the end of our story and everybody doesn't have that. Okay, now let's go! What are we gonna get into? Y'all, we got the meeting today for the Christian salon. Okay. Big time meeting, I want somebody to please do my hair. Okay, okay, I went. Okay, y'all, right. what's the deal? How are we gonna break this down? We have to go talk to the man about the building. We have to let him know we want his building. Okay. So, 
what it, what's the price? What is he? What? He keeps saying fifteen hundred dollars a month. A month. Hmm. Okay. If we all go down there, like we mean business, and get the key, well, you know, I can go. I can go with me to business. All it takes is for me to go. I can go. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, what are we going? Get ready. Get ready. We're going down there, and we're going to take over. I think the main reason why women are not in power is because they lack confidence in themselves. And there's too much negativity surrounding them. So by us starting this new program or, you know, this salon full of positive influence, and that will help them. What about cheating then? Is cheating a legitimate reason for divorce? Yes. 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 Wait, yes. 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 Walking past a man and looking at it. Lust, and that's lusting in your heart. That's but right. it's not yes, cheating. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. But if cheating. you think about what you can do it's with that man, it's, it's just like cheating. It's just like cheating because it's yeah. in your mind. That's so right. That's where it's your heart. heart. So that's where it's the heart. But, but, yeah, but, but, but that's, just that's what the Lord say, but I'm talking about what do the wives say. But for me, that's what I say. Right. Right. Well, the land is the land. Okay. The land is the land. 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 The land is you bringing up two different perspectives. You bringing That's up, right. uh, you bringing up uh, a God perspective, and you bringing up a standard of a human perspective. That's two completely different perspectives because we deal with two two completely different motives. God looks at intentions. We as people, we feel like if no one has specifically done anything to us, then we don't need to come at them any particular way. Or whatever. True. So we go off of the actual act. God goes off in a motive. You can't really compare the two because it's two completely different things. All right. Well. Um, I've been through a lot. Um, I've, I've, I grew up in a, a, a family where my mother and my father were addicted to crack cocaine and me being the oldest, I went through a lot of um, different emotions because of their absence and because of the way that I was treated by the people that took care of us when my mother was away. Um, you know, and then I think that that led me to doing things in my teenage adulthood that um, weren't very positive for me. And as a result, I ended up in prison, um, you know, and getting out of prison. I came out thinking everything was gonna be all peachy cream, but it wasn't, so that was another blow to me. But it's just, at the end of the day, I think all of the struggles and all the things I went through made me a stronger person. So, um, you know, I know how it feels to be at the bottom and to think that nothing that you do is right or nothing that you do can change it. But at the same time, I also know that you can overcome those feelings and that you can move forward and do positive things and feel better about yourself and in return help other people to feel better about themselves. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing well. I was coming to see Mr. Gillette. Made it, huh? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. It's so good to see you. Yeah, so you come to do the lease, huh? Yes, I have all of my little duckies in a row for our wonderful Christian Empowerment Salon. Okay. Want to ask you about the monthly. Uh -huh. We just What we're doing on the monthly is charging you basically our costs on it. Our, what we're paying on our mortgage. Yes. Uh, the taxes we're paying on our general costs. Yes. Uh, Maybe how much was that? What'd she do? Maybe about... How much was that? Thirteen sixty-one. Thirteen sixty-one. Okay. Okay. I was really wanting to go over and take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll look at it again. It's going to be hard to get a wrap. I've done you a coming. I had Ross cleared out some of this room. For hey, me. sunshine. How you doing? I'm looking at, I'm standing in what's going to be Salon 3110, Pensacola's first yeah, Christian Empowerment Salon. All right now, are we on for tonight? Yes, we are. We're on for tonight. We're going to meet at 6.30. We get everything together and get it organized. Yes, ma'am, Sunshine. I'll talk to you at 6.30. You know what? I'm not going to lie and say I'm just trying to help other people. I'm trying to help myself. I really want to 
correct a lot of the things that I have done. I have caused a lot of conflict in a lot of people's lives, probably because of the way I grew up, probably because, you know, I don't know, my dad being on crack for 22 years, and every time I got a chance to see him, I had to pay him $5. So that makes me feel as though I have to pay people to get their attention. I don't know. But I am in a situation where I'm really trying to pour into other people and help their dreams come true. And it makes me feel good when I am seeing other people do well. Also, I'm extremely jealous hearted. So if I am surrounded around all the best of the best, then I know I'm not left out. Oh my God! Hey, you Welcome the to Salon 3110. Wow! Hey! Well, oh. y'all take a look okay. and tell me what y'all think, mm -hmm. what we can make happen to this spot. How can we make it the oh. most? It's big. I love the stairwell. I love it. Okay. That's only minor yeah. stuff, only minor stuff. It's all, you know, we can fix this all up. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm asking you, would you mind merging with me? I would love to. We need some good workers. Some good workers. Would and you be willing to relocate? Tell the truth. Or maybe expand? Expand. We have to see it before we see it. So y'all think we can make this happen, right? I really sure. believe we can make it happen. Do you feel God, God is in it? Yes. Because I'm serious. It's I'm your so vision. About so this. we're going to help you with your vision. Oh, thank you guys. See, black women can't get along. Yes. Amen. So Hallelujah. Let's vision. pray. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Jehovah, we come to you in thanks. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes. Amidst all these wheelchairs and boxes, Lord, we know that there's a vision. Yes. A vision that you've placed in our hearts that you want to bring into fruition. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now, we just follow you. Yes. We follow you, Lord, and we yes. thank you. Thank in the name you, of Jesus, Jesus, let every person that comes in here be touched by the Holy Spirit, Lord. Yes. Let them get their hair done, their nails done, and let their spirit be filled with you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I try to live my life um, being a person of integrity because I've been out there. I've, you know, the drugs, uh, you know, having partners, you know, and just being out there in so many different ways, being um, a person of low self-esteem, being suicidal, you name it. I've been there. I've done that. I've, God has helped me to overcome many things in my life. And, you know, been on my own since I was 16 and moved to Florida from New York and got here. And it was like I was able to establish myself in a way that only God could have helped me. The man wants the man. The man wants money. Okay. <laughs> to make all these wonderful ideas happen, y'all. He wants $1,500 a month. How much? Who can help and how? Damn. Seriously, like, well. can anybody kick in? I mean, so do you want us to do yard sales, dinners, <laughs> have sponsorships, and partnering, oh, and having other idea. local businesses chime in? I think, you know, we start local. Yeah, yes. you know, I think that'll be a great strategy. I've spoken with John Porter, the vice president of Baptist Hospital. He's mm -hmm. willing to have Baptist come in and help education. So there are many other organizations that want to come in and do health education. So maybe we can tap into that as some kind of resource. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Everything is coming together. I knew you had a vision. I didn't know how it was going to come together, but. <laughs> I'm your friend. I'm with you 100%. Okay. We are constantly being pit against each other in some form of competition in every avenue of our lives, yes. except in the salon. Absolutely. We have to do something with that. Right. We're, we're naked there. Absolutely. Everybody we see are. our balls. That's right. They That's see right. our bald heads. From they head see, to toe. You know. head to toe. I call it dressed up or messed up. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to be bringing some empowerment, yeah. giving people some Jesus, like that. and yeah. praying, like that. and really, really being a sense of support. God's spiritual makeup. Amen, y'all.